Hello, Brett here. So today I'm going to be showing you about the camps and the Hebius items. I'm going to be showing you what you can use them for and what weapons you can make and just the use for them and how to get them and that. Do note though that I'm not sure if you can get this on Quest. I'm pretty sure you can get the items, but camps are found in the forest and the plains and I'm not sure if they spawn in there because that's an update that you haven't had yet. Again, I am pretty sure you can get the items still as I've seen people with Hebius guards who play on Quest. Also, sorry for the delayed for this video. I just took a break from playing Township. I was playing it non-stop and just getting a bit bored. Anyway, off we go. So to start off, I'm going to be showing you where the camps are located. To get to the camps, you need to build this sandstone bridge, which is located just to the right of spawn. To make it, you need 250 sandstone, which isn't hard to get because it spawns everywhere here. These are one-time spawns and it also spawns quite a lot at the quarry. So you just put the sandstone in here. And it builds the bridge, like this, in a very dramatic scene. Come on. Like this. And then you can just cross the bridge. And you just keep on going down this path, and then you get to the plains, which is where the camps are. And the camps are also in the forest, but generally stick to the ones in the plains, because they're a lot easier to find. And there, there's a lot more there, and they're always there, and they don't wipe, and you don't have to find them. They're just more useful. So now I'm going to be showing you what's in the camps. In most camps, or if not all camps, you're going to be finding these crates. These spawn in items such as the blades, which I'll t talk about in a bit, the guards and some gourds, which again, I'll get on in a bit. You will also find a pond in the middle where you can fill up cauldrons to cook here if you want to. And you'll also find chests which spawn in just like handles, but also spawn these types of arrows and other stuff like that. You'll find these tents which chests can spawn in, and also these little, what do you call them, like archer places where you also get ch chests. This is a large one, and in the plains you get larger camps, but in the forest you generally get small ones that just have a few crates, maybe a pond if you're lucky, and some chests. So first, let's start with the crates. The crates is going to be your main way of getting the items you use for the swords which and weapons, which I'll go on to in a bit. The way you get the loot from the crates is you just get a dagger or a blade or anything, and you just hit them, and it breaks them open. Like this. Let's just do this to all of them. Like that. Now, here is what you can find in the crates. In the crates, you do get quite a lot of junk, so you get... Some of the mushrooms cut up in pieces, you can get them cut, but don't really worry about that. And you also get uncut uh, chicken bone meat, which is just cut in half. But now onto the, like, the blades and the guards. You can get Hebeus guards, either copper or iron. It doesn't really matter what metal you want, if you want to keep them like that, it's fine. But generally people put them in moulds to get whatever metal you want. Now blades. The Naganata blade, the two pieces you find, and then you craft them in the crafting building to get the full blade. You got the Wakasashi pieces, which again you put into the Wakasashi blade, and then the katana pieces, which you put in the katana blade. Then you've got the handles. You can get the Wakasashi and the katana handles also in the crates. The katana handle is very rare though, do note that. Quite a lot of these are rare, but the katana handle is especially rare. So don't expect to get it first try, it's really hard to get. You can also get the Naganata handles in it. I'm not sure if you get them from the crates or the chests, but I just check them both anyway, because you can get whole katanas and weapons in that which in the chest, which we'll show in a bit. Also, you can get these weird Leonardo, whatever they're called, like kunai weapon things. Currently, they're broken. You would find two pieces and craft them together, but the pieces are broken and they look like this. They don't work now. I think they're trying to fix it. I don't know. You can't really use it yet. It might be fixed when you're playing it, but as of now, it's it's broken. So next is what you can find in the chests. I'm here. I'm just going to be showing you what's exclusive to the Hebeus chests, as in the chest you can find other normal items that normal chests give you, but you kind of already know that, and this is just the exclusive stuff that you can get from them. So in them you can find kunai, which are just some throwing knives. They spawn in stacks of two or three, and they're great for like starting out, just like cutting meat or killing your first two or three worms. You can also find kunai handles, which generally spawn in like stacks of 11 or 12 these are great because you can put them onto whatever blade you want and get um, it to act like a kunai 
but it's really good if you have end game metals and you use it for like a short sword and have like stacks of three on your hotbar, especially if you have earth slash, they get really powerful then. So next you have the whole weapons. You've got a wakasashi, which sadly you can't take this apart, so you can either use it as a shower or a flex or just use it like this. You can also find a katana, which you can take apart for the blade and the um, handle. And you can also get the naganata, which again, you can't take this one apart, you just have to use it like it is. And you can also find the shai, I can't pronounce that, I probably butchered it, which again, you can't take this one apart. You can also find a gourd, which is like a glass bottle, but it doesn't break as easily, and it can store two of each potion or liquid instead of one. Again, I generally use these. Um, you can find them in the crates, which is, I forgot to mention, and they spawn more commonly in the crates, but you can get them in the chest as well. Finally is the arrows. These are good for sorting out arrows until you make your own. They're like rusty arrows, but they do double the damage and they're a bit more accurate, but I would try to move on to your own arrows as soon as possible. So, finally I'm going to be showing you how you can make moulds out of this, so you can use whatever metal you want instead of the default cracked iron looking one. So to do this you need a special Hebeus mould, and you have to craft these by yourself, and the way you craft it is with a redwood gut core, a plate, some buckles, some sticks, and some uh, dry grass. So it's not hard to make, the only hard part to get is a redwood gut core. This is dropped by the Redwood Gotara, which an image of them will be showing on screen now. And the way you get them is in the forest, and you have to kill them. They have quite a lot of health, and they do quite a lot of damage, so I'd be prepared. Also, whilst you're there, I'd get more than one, because if, if you're there for quite a bit, you can get, like, three or four, and if you're better, you can get, like, 12 to 16. So i just get as many as you can there, as it's a pain to get, uh, keep on going back there to get more. Again, this is why I'm unsure whether you can get them on quest, as you find them in the forest, and you can't have the forest on the quest version of the game right now. But it might be released when you see this video. It might be a different way, I'm not sure, because I don't have a quest. Anyway, the way you put the blade or guard into the mold is you come to this building here, which is just off to the blacksmith, and inside, you'll see there are these stamps here. This is for the normal um, stamp, and this one is what you use for the special Hebeus mold stamp. The way you make this is with 10 seeds, obviously, 20 iron, and 15 red iron. It is pretty expensive, but the weapons are definitely worth it. So now I've gotten the items needed, and we just put them in here, like every other one of them, and it makes our press. So the way you use this is you get your mold, and you put your mold right in there, and then you get your blade or guard, and you put the blade or guard right up there, and then like the coin press, you just pull this down, and you get the mold. For this one, you need eight. I think it's also eight for the Naganata, and for the Wakasashi, it's five. I'm not sure about the uh, Shiai, however you pronounce it, because it's been broken for ages, and I never really use them, because they're not the best. Last quick thing, do note these have three uses and three uses only. You can tell by these indicators here. So you can only use this three times before you need to make a new one. There is a kind of glitchy trick you can use so you don't have to get the blade again, which is at the blacksmith you can make a blade out of say copper or another iron blade and just you can use that to clamp it in the mold. It is a kind of cheaty way of doing it but it works just fine and there's no real reason not to do it. Hi, thanks for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm sorry it was quite a while for this one to come out. I kind of took a break, as I said in the intro, just because I've been playing non-stop for ages. Also, again, the link for the wiki will be linked in the description if you have any questions that this video can answer, or you've got any other information that you need to find out. Anyway, that's about all I really have to say for this video, other than maybe comment if you have any other questions that you couldn't figure out, or like if you did like it. Again, I'm new. This is, I think, my fourth video now. Anyway, other than that, have a great day. Goodbye.